All right, so we're here with a new project. It's a 1987 Nissan D21 pickup. It's got the Z24 four-cylinder, the eight spark plugs, as you can see. Two spark plugs, fucking, that's ridiculous. Anyways, a uh, buddy of mine, if you guys have seen the CLK video, he's the one that drives the CLK. Uh, this is basically going to be his new drift project because he doesn't want to fucking drift the bends, which is understandable because shit ain't cheap. So he towed it all the way out here, took the drive shaft off, and I towed it out. Uh, it's bone stock, basically. Uh, right off the bat, it's going to need a fuel pump, which is what we're going to be tackling today, along with it's a coolant piece that he removed already. I'm not sure exactly where it goes because I didn't see where it is or where it where it went or where it came from but some coolant little coolant piece I'll show you guys but yeah this is gonna be a fun little project he's getting ready wants to slide it so for you guys that know about the Z24i it's da it's damn near like a K KA24E a single cam KA as you can tell that valve cover right there is it's just like a KA so you guys already know this shit's gonna be something something crazy you know this thing just needs a little work here and there but it's gonna be fucking clean, so we're gonna be removing the bed, doing the fuel pump, putting that coolant piece in, and she should be ready to ready to go, ready to fire up. D21 pickup. So right here, this is the piece installed, and uh, right there, that's the heater core hose on the right, and on the left, the smaller hose that that goes to the throttle body. And then if you come around to the front of the engine, right here is the thermostat. And as you can see, that fitting right there is where that, that third hose is going to go to, right there. So, now that's, that's all in place. Just want to also show you guys, popped off this radiator cap and uh, it's pretty fucking rusty in there. So, something else we're going to have to take a look at. So, that's that. Alright, so there's six bolts like this and so far we got five of them. I take these three off here, then we could take this off, one more wire harness from the lights and we'll be able to pull it off. Jeff, we get the corner. Thank you. Okay. Oh, fuck, nigga. That's legit. There's your mounting points right there. There's a fuel pump right there. There's your harness. Damn, that's nastier than the girl in the car. Don't think about using the donut because I don't think Nastier than the girl in the fucking hey, corner. Hey, so I should just get it running and then take it and spray it down like this. Yeah, you can Yeah, so you can spray down the whole fucking chassis. Yeah. Dude, just do the bro, diff right I now, just bro. Have to, like strap it. Just let's take the diff off and weld yeah, it right now. Weld it. Weld it right now. That'll be another day. This looks fucking tight, bro. Might want to bring the drive line in. Fuck the drive line. Well, we'll take the drive line. True, true. <laughs> and then. My trimming though, look at your homie. Your homie with the E. Oh shit, nigga going cruise by. Do, do a burnout. 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 Hey yo. Damn, son. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> no what happened to LSD. This shit's from 1939, bro. Look at this exhaust, dog. Easy upgrade. This is fucking tight. Oh yeah. Boom, straight pipe it right here, boom. All right, so next step, gonna undo all these hoses and these uh, wires here. And then it looks like it's a couple 10 millimeter Phillips heads, or eight millimeter, nine millimeter, I don't know. But, and then that whole pump's gonna come out, so we'll see what that looks like. Got the old fuel pump. Rusty, janky, leveling sensor, it's kind of stiff. Uh, empty sensor was working right here. And we just got to take off this screw here. Then we can pull out the fuel pump, fuel pressure regulator. It should look, should look real nice in there. Yeah. Got the clamp off the fucking hose. Still doesn't work well. Oh. 
Okay, these are both on. Did you see that? Yeah. And... Right there? Yeah. Then the bolts are at the other end, so... Yeah. Just a better look at that leveling sensor. That's what it looks like. It's got the, the float. I'm on the ridge. Got it. Offer that one little. Sort of little. There she blows! One side. This clamp, oh you took off the top one? Yeah. We're trying to take off the top one. That's kind of... Need a new fucking assembly. I have I have holes there, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace this hose here. So he's got some. Uh, there you go. Slide it right onto the new one. That one on cherry. Yeah. You can go on the corner. Here's a fuel pump side by side. That fresh regulator though. Might as well go through and wire brush all the terminals and ground points, contact points. Get a good contact. Only 30 old car. Got it all assembled with the new hose. Obviously, it looks like the bottom piece is backwards. All right, now you can see we swapped it, flip it around, and now it's right. Get it all fucking bolted in in the rain. This nigga didn't even tell me he was about to drop in the fuel pump. Jackass. All right. Nope, no fuel pressure yet. No pressure. You know what we should have done? Hey, Prime one, pull the spark plug. Pull the spark plug and then... No, that's fine. Pull the spark plug and crank it. Oh, that's, that's just... I don't know, nigga. Fail. I don't so we were fucking cranking with no fuel filter, bro. Look at that. But we got pressure. Don't light a damn cigarette right now. <laughs> um, we obviously can you give pressure. me the? Don't tell Jesse. Don't tell Jesse what the fuck happened. <laughs> give me a, the a cigarette. Screwdriver. I took screwdriver. Back. Get your all-in-one craftsman, bro. Look, we just got gas everywhere. Well, I mean, Did you put it. it back ready? Run, Forrest! Still gotta get that that hose attached and all, all the ones I talked about earlier. So. Is that a formula? Right there. Yeah. Ah! What's good with it? Purrs like a kitten. Hell yeah. Ah! That's a KA24 Edo.
That was fucking beast. Hell yeah, fuel pump. Done. I know, we gotta get those hoses now. She's about to be ready to rip. We're gonna go slide to the fucking car wash and wash this thing off. All right, we just need two more things. That's the drive line, drive shaft put in. Get these hoses put in, nice and cherry. All red. And uh, get this AC belt, cause we gonna be hot as fuck up in this bitch sliding. Just playing. <laughs> Got the thermostat uh, hose all in place. We're just putting fresh clamps on everything down here. We need some fresh clamps for these two, like you saw earlier. And uh, yeah, like I said, that that you can see that back there. Uh, no, you can't. But uh, took this lower radiator hose out because it was all like crunchy inside. So it seemed like there was a lot of rust in there. So we're gonna flush it out. Let's see what comes out. It's gonna be red for sure. Holy shit. As you can see, it starts to run clear. Chunks of rust. Oh yeah, get those chunks of rust out. Snake her down like, <laughs> a, like a plumber. Snake her down. Got the D21 rolling. Pushing by one guy. <laughs> it's going like fucking 10 miles an hour. Can you turn it up a little bit? Push the radiator flush. Alright. Turn it off. <laughs> that didn't even do nothing. Yeah, it's at least you fucking lubricated it. We got our idling, got some got some coin in it, got the hoses back in, all cleaned up. He's running it. Gotta get the drive line back in and take the first spin. We got this drive line which is gonna bolt up right here, and we gotta feed it through there, and it's gonna slip yoke's gonna go in way down there, so should be not too bad. Just gotta go get the bolts. He went to go get the bolts, so I'm gonna do this by myself. Alright, so we just need the four bolts for right there. Uh, I got the drive shaft all in. Everything's in place, so he obviously needs a new center support, but we're just gonna get this thing going so he can get it to his house. So so uh, apparently one of the, the drive shaft bolts was shorter than all the rest, so it's going to barely thread in, but we got fine. three. We got three good ones. It's just a drive shaft anyways, nothing important. You know? It ain't going to be torqued up or nothing. It's just okay. Nothing fucking crazy. <laughs> the struggle to fucking tighten these drive shaft bolts right now, bro. Oh yeah. Take a look at how dirty this bed is. The entire thing, the frame, the bed. The bed's not here. The bed's, a, the bed's not obviously not here. The frame. <laughs> look at everything. How dirty it is. It's that foreign authority. Got the fresh. I know. So we're about to go spray this off, including the engine bay. Got all the drive shaft bolts in. You can see that. Got them all snug. He's putting the center support uh, the bolt in right now, and we're gonna go wash this. That fresh CO K one. All right. So yeah, he's putting that center support in. CO K four thirty. This motherfucker slides. So we're gonna wash this shit off. When you got the drive shaft connected nice and tight to the drive line, but yet your yoke center, center support, support is shot, and your yoke might slip out of the transmission. You better get that shit fixed. That's legit. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put it in gear and see if it, if it even wants to move because I guess his clutch needs to be bled. Fires right up that new fuel pump. All right, so it's in first gear. Are you gonna put it in the first gear? Oh, yep. We got movement. You gotta let it, you gotta let it run because it's been sitting so long. It needs to burn out all the. Let it, just let it idle. Yeah. Pop. Uh, Drive though. We got movement. All right, so what do you know? It made it to the fucking car wash. It's about to get its first wash down, and who knows how fucking long. We hit it with some degreaser before we left, but uh, we about to get this thing fucking mint right now.
Got continued. Let's hook up the bands real quick. Doesn't do much. Alright folks, you guys saw it here first. It was a successful day. Initiating the D21, bringing it back to life, you know. Now you know he's Gonna need a tune up and a few other things, and he's gonna be ready to slide this thing, you know? So stay tuned. We're gonna definitely have some more videos. Nissan D21 pickup, K24 build. Let's go. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.